This is on the right hand of now. One day someone asked my father, he said, so many of your newbies are pirated. How do you make money? And my father said to him, he said, if a soul gets to heaven because of my pirated movies, God will not ask him or her, are you a pirated soul <laughs> or an original soul? <laughs> That is just to say that even though piracy is a challenge, the impact we make through our movies is more important than our profits. In Nigeria, including a woman, a journey in circle, a mission, and the manager. He comes from a family, a film family. Uh, as I told you, his dad won two gold crown awards for that foreign film just two years ago. So please welcome Demolola. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So, I'm so happy to be here. And it's a privilege to be here. I want to say thank you so much for having me. My name is Tanola Mike Faith-based filmmaker. Now, two significant factors contributed to the development of faith-based movies in Nigeria. The first one is the Monsan Institute of Christian Drama, which was established in 1991. Now, this institute trains numerous drama ministers who later started their independent drama ministries. It has also formed affiliations with universities. And that's the good thing about it, because now universities are embracing drama as a course to study. So we have universities like the Ajay Crowder University and the Dimas University offering diploma degree programs in Christian performing arts. And the second factor is the role of ANSI drama. That is all Nigerian conference of evangelical Christian drama. Now what does that mean? It's a body that unites all drama ministers in Nigeria under one umbrella. So it became the largest organized Christian drama body in Africa, hosting conferences and congresses. Now these conferences and congresses have produced numerous production and is composed of believers who possess an evangelical or a mission-minded approach. So furthermore, faith-based films have witnessed a surge in popularity on platforms such as YouTube. And what are the challenges of Christian film makers in Nigeria? The first one is the distribution and reach. Gaining wide distribution can be very difficult. Mainstream cinemas may be so reluctant to screen these films. And that's why we decided that we will not be held back. Piracy, like any other films or any other Nigerian films, Christian dramas are susceptible to piracy, which can severely impact the financial viability of this project. This is on the right hand of now. One day someone asked my father, he said, so many of your movies are pirated. How do you make money? And my father said to him, he said, if a soul gets to heaven because of my pirated movies. God will not ask him or her, are you a pirated soul mm -hmm. or an original soul? <laughs> that is just to say that even though piracy is a challenge, the impact we make through our movies is more important than our profits. 20 years ago, while I was in high school, I challenged my father and asked him why why our movies weren't cinematically appealing? Why do they resemble home videos? Rather than films made for the pair? Why couldn't we step up our game? I mean, God deserves the best. So why weren't we creating the best movies? I recognize the truth is our stories are great, but our production quality was still lacking. But I, I failed to realize that my father had no financial support 
no funds, no grants. All he had was faith to drive every production. He firmly believed that there are no excuses for not fulfilling your God-given purpose. Amen. So he said to me one day, he said, son, you're right. God truly deserve, deserves your best. Right. Now, your best may not be the best, yeah. but when you give him your best, he will take it up and from there make the best out of it. Amen. The boy with the five loaves of bread and two fish gave Jesus his best. Amen. That wasn't the best meal, but that was his best. But Jesus took it up and served thousands of people with it. All David had, David in the Bible, all he had were five smooth stones from the river. The army of Israel had better weapons, yet they couldn't bring Goliath down. So if you recall, David didn't stop at the stone, he ran and grabbed Goliath's sword. My takeaway lesson from that story is that when you appreciate your stones, no matter how small, is when you appreciate your stones, one day you will use the sword. But if you ignore the stones, then you, the sword will be far from you. But let me conclude by saying that every tree, every tree of God always starts with a seed. You may ask me, what's the evidence that the seed has grown? One simple evidence is that the seed, the seed is standing right here before you all in ICBM delivering a lecture to great people like you. So I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for having me. On behalf of my parents, on behalf of Monsanto Faith Ministry and on behalf of ANSIDRAM, All Nigerian Conference of Evangelical Drama Ministry, we would like to say a big thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our, our history and our vision with you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.